In the last video, we looked at how the physical texture of soil can affect its chemistry. Now it's time to look at how biology affects both the chemical and the physical properties of soil. Everything on Earth is formed from these 96 different elements. But of these, there are only 30 that are essential to the health and growth of living organisms. Many nutrients required for life are unavailable, bound up in rock, soil and organic matter. This is where the biology manipulates the chemical and physical interactions within the soil. Bacteria are capable of breaking down insoluble minerals into soluble nutrients in a process known as biological weathering. They release organic acids, which aids the solubilization of these minerals, making them bioavailable for plants and other microbes. But microbes are also a key player in the recycling of nutrients and minerals. And this they do through the breakdown of organic matter. As microbes feed upon organic residues, energy stored within the carbon bonds provides the fuel for metabolic reactions. As they break down the organic matter, excess nutrients are released into the soil in forms that plants can use. This is mineralization. As this surface organic matter is broken down, not only are the bacteria releasing bioavailable excess nutrients, they're also shaping the physical properties of the soil itself, creating a soil like this, that is far more able to hold on to these excess nutrients. Residual organic compounds left over by the bacteria help to contribute to the formation of humus. Humus is partly composed of humic substances which include three major fractions, humin, humic acid and fulvic acid. And it's these compounds that play a vital role in soil fertility and plant nutrition. These organic compounds are incredibly stable, sometimes lasting for thousands of years within the soil before degrading. And it's because of their intricate structure that they significantly increase the cation exchange capacity of the soil and therefore its ability to hold on to nutrients. As humic substances become associated with the mineral fraction of the soil, colloidal complexes of humus clay and humus silt aggregates are formed. The flocculation of soil particles expands the pores between them, increasing the flow of air and water through the soil and ensuring an aerated, friable structure is maintained. The exact science behind the formation of these humic substances is very complex but what we do know is that they are essential for good soil health and that microbes play a key role in their formation.